Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss exercise 9.3 question number 2. Observe this bar graph which is showing the sale of shirts in a ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday, right? Here you see these are the days on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and these are the unit length that is 5 shirt, 10 shirt, 15 shirt, 20 shirt, 25, 35, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 and 65, right? Now answer the following questions. You see what are the questions? The question is first one is What is the first question? The question is, what information does the above graph, above bar graph give? What information does the above bar graph give? Here, the bar graph shows the sale of shirts in a ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday, right? Therefore, the answer, what information does the above bar graph give? The answer will be, the bar graph, the answer will be, the bar graph the bar graph bar graph the bar graph gives the graph the bar graph shows 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 the sale of shirts sale of shirts sale of shirts in a in a ready made shop in a ready made shop ready-made ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday from Monday Monday to Saturday right here you see on monday there is 15 shirts sale of shirt is 15 here you, if you draw the perpendicular on this line here it is 15 yes and this one is 10 shirt if we draw a perpendicular line and this is for 20 sets and this one is 35 shirts 35 and this one is 50 shirts this one is 50 I see perpendicular lines that is 50 and this one is 60 this one is 60 shirts if we draw a line perpendicular on the on the x number line then it will fall on 60 right this is 60 shirt right therefore the next question is what is the next question you see the next question is what is the scale chosen on the horizontal line representing number of shirts on the horizontal line here you see that one unit length is equal to five shirts right there is one unit length is equal to five shirts what is the scale chosen on the horizontal line represent the number of shirts that is one unit length that is here in one unit length one unit length that is one unit length one unit length unit length one unit length is equal to five sets five sets here you see this information is given here that one unit length is five sets right this is one unit length is equal to I've said here it is given
this is one unit length is equal to five set here you see this is one unit length equal to five sets right now the next question question number c is on which day were the maximum number of shirts sold how many shirts were sold on that day yes right therefore there you see the length of uh, the length of the bar that is on saturday is maximum that is 60 shirts right For on which day were the maximum number of shirts sold therefore on saturday right on which day that is on saturday on saturday on saturday on saturday the maximum number of shirts sold that is and how many shirts were sold on that day on how many shirts were sold on that day here you see 60 shirts right the answer will be 60 shirts 60 shirts 60 shirts were sold on that day right now question number d what is question number d you see on which day were the minimum number of shirts sold minimum number minimum number is this one that is on tuesday right that is 10 shirts sold on which day were the minimum number of shirts minimum number of shirts sold that is on minimum number is on on tuesday on tuesday and how many shirts that is and on which day were the minimum number of shirts sold that is on tuesday and it was 10 shirts right and back we are writing 10 shirts 10 shirts now question number e how many shirts were sold on thursday on thursday you see on thursday here you see that is 35 here you see thursday is 35 you see this is 35 right uh, how many shirts are sold on thursday that is 35 thirds on thursday the shirt sold is 35 35 shirts 35 shirts first of all you have to read the graph in this way here you see that observe this bar graph and which is showing the sale of shirts in a ready-made shop from monday to saturday monday the shirt sold is 15 on Tuesday, the shirt sold is 10. On Wednesday, the shirt sold is 20. On Thursday, the shirt sold is 35. On Friday, the shirt sold is 50. And on Saturday, the shirt sold is 60. And here you see that one unit length is equal to five shirts. Here it is five shirts, 10 shirts, 15 shirts. The one unit length is five shirts, right? This is the way you have to count, right? That is on how many shirts are sold on Thursday? You see on Thursday, there are 35 shirts sold, right? And on which day were the minimum number of shirts sold? Minimum number is this one here, that is 10 shirts, and that is on Tuesday. And on which day were the maximum number of shirts sold? And how many shirts were sold on that day? You Saturday, you here you see the Saturday, the maximum number of uh, shirts is sold is 60, right? That is on Saturday. And what is the scale chosen on the horizontal line representing the number of shirts? Here you see one unit length is equal to five shirts. That is the scale. And what information does the above graph, above bar graph keep? The bar graph shows the sale of shirts in a ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday. This is the solution of question number two.